Hi guys, welcome to this video. I just did my updates, right? So that's okay. This is the ISO of November. And um, I wanted to show you something. There are many, many, many videos about this on our YouTube channel already. There is not one Linux distribution that's perfect out of the box for every single person out there. No. And your choices, they change every day. A theme, icons, and so on. I'm gonna show again, right? You'll find videos about it on the internet. And there is this company called Bitly. And in Bitly, I've made a URL, a URL shortener. I have an account on Dropbox and I make a tar GZ. And all I do after any clean installation of Arclinux, I'll run my scripts, things to install more, things to remove, and things to make it personal, right? This little setting, that little setting, all kinds of changes. Get your dot configs in, and that's it. So I have this URL and the people who have been longer with us will know about this. Arco get started, right? We're sharing the way, the, the workflow that we use. Is it not your workflow? Fine. Take a look, right? Just take a look. This helps set up things super easy, super fast. So extract here, targz, get started all kinds of stuff to get all our githubs in in one go all the arco things in one go carly stuff in one go and some personal stuff data from my personal github.com eric dubois and also a standard template already for virtualbox i don't have to set it every single time after a clean install this is for the guys who are get tedious of doing it over and over and over and over again so the only thing i run on a system that I work on, not the ISO builder, is the minimal start here. And that's it. And let this do its job. I go eat or I do walk around or whatever, right? It is doing its job. It follows commands that you would normally type sudo pacman minus s, Firefox, Brave, uh, Discord, Telegram, or just kind of want to get rid of it. Then it's rs, remove, and all the dependencies with it. So all these applications that I want, basically, are being installed now. And some of them are already, but it doesn't matter because it's just skipping it, right? VLC was already there because this is not XS. There are many ISOs and XL is the extra large and XS is the extra small. So lots of these things will be there already, but it doesn't matter because sometimes I run this script Right now, I've changed the script a little bit, and this is an example of it. I have added some firmware and hardware things in it. When you do a make init CPIO, if you update your systems, you see sometimes warning, 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 missing firmware. I was wondering if you guys see that too. One so respond underneath this video yes i see this warning too wd 719x a aic 94xx and the other guy this guy had to look quite a long way for it but it has a completely different name so it's unrecognizable what the uh, message again is and i don't remember it by name but since this all is installed we don't see any warnings anymore in here here is sometimes a line in between, warning, warning, warning. And I just read an article just today on the bug, Zilla or bug uh, website of Arsenic saying, whatever, right, it's a warning, don't mind, it's an old stuff, uh, bleep, bleeping or something strange, a strange name. Anyway, it was a, a driver of an old hard disk of 2004 and so on. But basically the last line is we keep it in, <laughs> right? So it supports something that's way old. 
and that's also in the kernel. Warning, it's not there. So once you've installed these three, three packages, so this guy, this guy, and this guy, I will have zero messages on all my computers over here. So that's already something nice to not see the warnings here. It really is peanuts, right? In download size, have a look, it's peanuts. So really don't care if it's 0 0.2, 0 0.02. So let's say 0 0.05 in total. Some config, some hardware, firmware, fine. At least I don't see the warnings anymore. There is no need to install them. This thing we've also fixed, but it will be on the next ISO. You will see that the warning is gone. Again, a warning doesn't really matter. In this case, Broadcom WDKMS is not there. Let's have a look. Why is that? Sudo pacman minus remove s Broadcom typo, is it? Always good to test everything out. Ah, yeah. So in the next ISO, we'll go to Broadcom WLDKMS. So it's gonna be independent, the drivers from the kernel. So the it will work on the Linux kernel, Linux LTS, Linux N, Linux R. That package, DKMS, I think is for our public better because we switch around kernels because we wanna learn, right? We're gonna test some things out, break the system. <laughs> But um, that's okay, so this target is not here. But the Broadcam, Broadcom in my case, is non-existent. I do not have any Broadcam things in my house. So I can remove it. So that's what you can do, right? On your end, if you say, no, I don't like this package, that package, I can get rid of this, get rid of that. That's the RS that I've put in here in this script. And all the rest, some more stuff. So VirtualBox is already installed, yay. We can play around with it. And it's our VirtualBox. It has all the rubbish settings that all these pop-ups, the balloons that come up. I've, I've written something in there, so I don't see it anymore. And all the rest looks good. Fine, voila. Workflow thing, clean install, choose whatever you wanna have. Then afterwards, run your scripts. You can put your scripts online, on a USB, in a hard disk. It's another way of doing things. And um, you find your workflow that works for you. But none of the distros out there are 100% perfect. So you need to add more, remove, and then this personal stuff. Because the personal thing, remember that um, we have this special, this is certainly for new guys, and they're gonna say, what? What's this, right? CD, LL, we have a personal folder. None of the other distros have that. CD personal, what's that? LS, oh look, one, two, three, what's that, right? Because of the fact that I ran this, all my configurations are actually in here, folders in one, two, three. Now let's go graphical a little bit nicer. So personal one control h so this is the configuration of xfce if you really want to know what it is well it's gonna be in here i have my article nemesis that's this is a github that ran in the back end uh here it is right this is person one i'll get this look if i run that so simple right personal one boom it's now overwritten this content this this will be the result let's say it like that that will be the result if i type personal two i will have this look and if i type personal three i will have this look and then the bar is at the top so voila you can make so many personal things right and every single time you can make, uh, you'll store your configs on GitHub somewhere, like I've done here, and you can just copy paste the one and the two and the three over. And all what I have to type is personal to today. 
I'm gonna go for this look personal too. But as you see, that's not available, right? Let's see why not. Maybe the Bash RC personal because let's have a look where it comes from. Bash RC, control find personal, right? The alias personal exists, copy paste everything from the personal to the home directory. What did I do? Copy paste everything from the personal to the home directory. Well, that's strange. Ah, there it is. So that's one, two, three. Though so that's not what you want. What you want is the personal one and the personal two and all that. That's what you want. And that's gonna be in the personal Bajor C personal. Here it is personal one, personal two, personal three. So let's try this again because for some reason. Okay. What did I type in the other? I don't know. Anyway, personal two works, right? Personal two is copy paste everything from the personal folder two to my home directory. Next time around, I'll have the look of control H data. Alcolix Nemesis, personal ISO, I will have this look. If you want to know more about this personal thing, you might want to learn C more. It's actually part of the Alcolix B project. If you're a little bit longer in Alcolix, you can start building your own ISOs, right? Build your own ISO. That's what this stands for, build your own ISO. And in here is a, an, a tag, a, a menu, a personal, and all information about how to create it, what's the uh, advantage, how to use it, etc., etc. Have fun, cheers.